Hey guys! I'm coming at you today with a bit of a different video because I recently received a housewarming gift, which is this Thermomix TM6 specifically. And if you're like me, I was like, what the hell is this? I have no clue what I'm looking at, but I did receive it as a gift and I looked it up online and only saw a bunch of reviews by these suburban housewives talking about what a lifesaver and game changer this is in the kitchen. I've had it for about a week now and I just wanted to tell you truthfully what it's like to have this thing before you consider even buying one. And it's not like me to make reviews, but I really feel the need to talk about this because it is $2,000. So first of all, what is a Thermomix? Um, simply put, it is a substitute for a husband or a wife. It's a cooking assistant. It will chop things for you, it will blend things for you, emulsify things, whatever that means. Um, slow cook. Uh, it's kind of like an all-in-one cooking robot, but if you ask me, it's pretty much a heated blender um, because it makes mostly mushy foods. It's gonna blend stuff. It's not gonna fry, it's not gonna um, sear food. You still need pots and pans. This is just gonna take a lot of the legwork out of the preparation. Okay, so let's talk about what's included in this $2,000 purchase. Obviously, besides the machine itself, you get a large steaming basket for vegetables, fish, um, anything like that that you want to put on top of the thermal mix pot. You get the secondary steaming basket, which is for rice and smaller vegetables, things like that. Um, this splash guard, more for drinks, like if you're making a lemonade, which we'll be making today. And this magic wand slash stirring stick slash spatula to scrape out your food from the pot and whatever the hell this is, um, a... this. The easiest way to actually review this thing is to do a demonstration. So we are going to go ahead and follow a recipe. Um, the Thermomix comes with preloaded recipes and spoiler alert, you have to pay for them. So we are gonna make a lemonade slush. So I'm gonna load up the recipe on the thermal mix, which I believe is here, lemonade slush. And it guides you step by step on what to do. Um, it weighs the ingredients for you. Most of the time it'll chop things for you, but it will not peel the lemons for you. Okay, 150 grams of sugar. Um, it looks like the number is going up. Four grams, oh my God, I'm gonna be here forever. Oh, what does that say? Oh shoot, I already put too much. Things are going great. Add one lemon, thin peeling of skin. What does that mean? $2,000, $1. Put that in there. So I'm gonna put on the lid, speed 10. So I'm just gonna turn this knob all the way to speed 10. And... Totally normal that it sounds like it is chopping up a dead body. Four lemons. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do two. Five hundred grams of water. Okay, so again, it will measure the water out for me. I wish it said it in cups because who uses grams of water? Okay, so that's next. Put the lid back on. Turned it to speed ten again. Add five hundred grams of ice. So, 500 grams of ice cubes is who knows how much. I'm just gonna start pouring. What does that say? Uh-oh, I forgot to press balance to zero. I'll just put a little more. Let's see what we've created. This is supposed to be a lemon slush. Now for the taste test. Take two. Oh. 
So I can taste the sugar granules. If you are serious about buying a thermal mix, it does make bread, um, which again, you still have to bake it yourself. It'll make and knead the dough for you, but I'm not a pilgrim. So I've made this one time, I'll probably never do it again. If you have a rice cooker that can steam vegetables or meats, whatever, then you don't need the steaming function of this. If you have a food processor, you can already chop up your vegetables. If you have a crock pot or a slow cooker, well then you can already slow cook. The thing is this does it all in one. So on the factor of utility, it's just as useful as your other kitchen appliances that you have. So I don't understand why a person would spend $2,000 on this. Again, I'm really grateful I got it as a gift. Would I pay for it myself? Hell no. But um, I have to tell you, do not buy this if you are just a normal person who cooks in the kitchen. Cheers to the Thermomix. Mmm.